Okay, here we go installing the spiral gears. Uh, of course, I'm wearing some latex gloves. I didn't earlier when I was doing everything, but we're going to be using some uh, marine grease. Uh, just better to use gloves and not get it all over your damn hands. Uh, this is a medium, this is a large, so... No, this is a small, this is a medium. Okay, so of course, first, of course, you got to remove the bumper and the lower skid plate. Some people, uh, I saw Jake Billings, he just removed these two screws and then all four screws on the back and the skid plate and the bumper came off as an assembly. Interesting idea. I mean, that, that's pretty cool, but I'd rather take everything off completely. So, because there was one thing I was going to compare. The rear bump, uh, this, I'm, I'm going to do this before anything. These, the screws that go in this way on the rear bumper are these little ones. If you do the Kershaw mount, you're going to have four extra M3 16 millimeter screws. These, I believe, are 10 millimeter. So, you'll have four of these. So, instead of continuing using these very small ones that don't have as much uh thread don't have as many threads use two of these because the uh m3 16 millimeter is what's used in the front so why not use the same thing in the back especially seeing it's going to take wear and tear from the uh from willies i have a, a buddy sending me a skid plate that i just have to bend up and uh drill and put some screws in so i'll be able to throw some sparks while i'm doing willies and I have uh, a buddy that sold me a 49 tooth Kershaw spur and a 53 tooth, oh no, not spur, pinion. 49 tooth Kershaw pinion and a 53 tooth Kershaw pinion. So, I mean, I'll be able to throw sparks, but use these screws when you're putting the bumpers back on in the, uh, in the back so you'll have more threads. So now we're going to get down to the diffs. Like usual, I'm using a drill, makes things faster. I will admit I have never changed a uh, set of diff gears. I'm probably going to have to go get some paper towels because uh well i don't know we'll see but those that have blown out your diffs and if you get this you already know the entire procedure of how to remove the front case the case comes off like that and that's the front just slides right out and then we're going to take the entire differential housing out and a lot of people wanted me to compare the uh, stock to the new as you see on the stock you have all these little holes <coughs> all these little indents uh, let me go ahead and start getting some things off okay I just loosened that Okay, we're going to, it comes with some screws. Hopefully I can get to them with these gloves on. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure these are some better screws. Instead of having a, uh, they are a button style top instead of, uh, and they are 2 millimeter instead of 2.5 millimeter. I wonder why they decided to do that. But, of course, first we're going to have to remove the old. Uh, I'm going to try my best not to contaminate the inside of this because I definitely don't want to get uh, marine grease in where the. Ah, uh... oh, hell. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay. That was not out all the way. But you can see the stock compared to the uh, the ones that come with it. They're the same length. It's just they got rid of this this style head and went with a button style head with two millimeter also. So that is one thing you're going to have to change. You're going to have to use your two millimeter Allen wrench. You're going to have to change out all your grease because you are putting new gears in. Uh, before we get deep into this, I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, old pinion and put the new one in. There's the old. Here's the new. That's them side by side. You can definitely tell there is quite a difference in them. These look, the new ones look a lot more machined. They're heavier, still hollow. These aren't hollow. These are hollow. So I guess that's to save some weight. But now we're just going to take this, make sure our bearings are still spinning freely, which they are. Push that back in there. And that's in there. Uh, hang on one sec while I go get myself some paper towels. And now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. The actual comparison of the two spur gears. What always seems to break. I will say the pinion gear looks stouter, healthier. Uh, don't you agree, Terry? Yes. Uh, just looks like a better piece of material. Uh, the stock one, just, I mean, that, y you can definitely tell, that is cast and then machined down. Uh, these look much better. I mean, just overall, they look they better. They spent more time with the new ones and they crapped out the... Too hmm. fast on the yeah, originals. They, I couldn't have said that any better myself. So we're going to take the ring gear off. See, a lot of people, I filled my diffs up. Now you see they are not completely full anymore. That is because when you fill a diff up, you are not getting into every little nook and cranny. You are simply filling it up. Once it spins some and it gets worked a lot. Oh, wow. These things are damn near empty. What the hell? I'm going to have to put some more diff. I mean, diff grease. Uh, good thing I have that. I did bring that just in case. Some 50K. So definitely going to have to do that. Uh... To get the uh, old gear off, you use the 2.5 millimeter, and there's a bolt down in here that you loosen. This will allow you to get everything off. And there we go. Put everything right there, put that right there, and I had a lot of people that wanted me to compare the stock to the new. Look at the size of the stock compared to the new. Gotta get that out, because you gotta remember that that is splined. But there's the stock. Stock new. Clearly, this is better. 
So we're just going to reverse everything we just did. Put your uh, silicone <coughs> seal back in. Then put your uh, initial outdrive cup through. And so you get that right there. And then you take your bearing, put it back on the way it was spinning. Take your owl drive, put it in place, take your screw. So that's on there nice and tight now. Okay, with this now, I'm going to want to put, to top them off a little bit with some of my 50K grease. Which is very thick, so it takes it a second to get to the bottom where it needs to be. It's like some very thick ass ketchup that you're waiting for it to come to the bottom of the bottle. Don't fill them up all the way. And then just rotate them. Rotate the spider gears, get everything worked in there well. going to take the old, I mean the new, <laughs> excuse me, and it does, uh, the, uh, the, it still has the little pin holes, and now we take the new screws, which are, like I said, two millimeters, so I'm going to have to get a different bit an allen wrench to do that because i didn't realize that these were two millimeters and i tried to get everything out ahead of time so i would be ready damn cat here okay so now we got that right there <clears throat> Take out the <laughs> I got grease all over these gloves. Ah, look, stuff even sticking to me. So now we're going to tighten the old to the new. Definitely going to want to set the clutch on the drill because you are drilling it, I mean you are putting in the plastic. You don't want to strip out the plastic especially on from the gift gear. I just want to get them tight first, make sure all the seals got in place, spin it, oh yeah, everything's still working great, <clears throat> and then I'll go hand tight. So now I'm going the new pinion gears on pinion gears in the new uh, spur gear is in place. Well, ring gear, 
as you can see everything's on now I'm going to need to take this off actually let me see if I can get to a get to my bag of tools and get a two millimeter allen wrench that is a two millimeter and just snug these down remember to do them opposite of each other it's always better to do things opposite of each other because it will they'll seat better uh, sort of like uh, on a car tire if you've got four lug nuts do the star pattern this has got four screws do the star pattern these are thicker these gears are thicker compared to this these are thicker that's why uh, they're actually having to use these smaller uh, button head screws than the uh, cap head or whatever those are called I'm not ex exactly sure what those styles are called I'm just making sure all of them are snug, nice and snug. But don't go too much or you're going to strip out that plastic. Get the cat here. And of course, I have cats. Well, a member of my family has a cat here that is a long haired cat and they do not. Uh. <clears throat> take care of it correctly they don't uh, they don't groom it so now you're gonna want to take uh, some marine grease best stuff for especially RC cars off-road it's waterproof get a good amount and put it on the gears get it down in the teeth Just like that. It's down in the teeth. And then take a little extra. And you can only put these on one side because there's a little notch. So this is going to go on this side. So put the dog bone back in. One side then the other. I'm going to have to rotate this. And then it'll... Wow, smoother. It... Wow, that, wow, that's a lot smoother. You don't hear the clicking. Yeah, you don't hear... Like she said, you don't hear a clicking. So... These aren't broke. I can keep these just in case. God forbid something happens with the new ones. And also, I will say, the mesh with the new ones is a lot tighter than the mesh with these. These have a looser mesh. It's looser. When you get your spiral gears, if you decide to get these, you will notice it's tighter. The tolerances are tighter. And that's one of the biggest things with these. And then one person told me to try moving it laterally side to side. Guess what? It doesn't move. Uh, backlash. There's, there is some backlash. But, hell, it's an RC car. You can't expect them to build it like an actual car. So now, we've greased, we've changed pinion and spur. Pinion and ring, I mean. Put the cat back on. I want to push it left and right to make sure it doesn't move laterally. It does not. Take. Oh, I gotta. Gotta change my bits back out to 2.5 millimeter.
trust me, this is not an expense. This is a $50 drill. I got this from Walmart. I got it specifically to use on RC vehicles. It has a uh, 20 volt lithium ion battery. Uh, 1.5 amp hour, so a 1500, a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And of course, after you get done, you're going to want to clean up all the extra grease and stuff like that because grease is a dirt magnet. A lot of people ask me uh, this tool set that I have. Where can you get this? Amazon. It is a... Uh, just look that it's it's Chinese. I mean, even if you look on the back, everything's well hell. Everything's in Chinese, but they're quality parts, which really surprises the shit out of me. And that goes over everything that comes with it. Torx bits, triangle bits, uh, some security bits. So this is the only one that's left. And now I'm going to set my clutch a little tighter. So it'll tighten these down. Well, actually, with this, it would probably be smarter to tighten them by hand. Again, going into plastic. And like I said before, always when you're seating something back in place uh, go diagonally so it'll seat correctly and don't just go top top bottom bottom that because something may not seat just right I don't know if I've hit this mm -hmm. one yet yeah okay that one and then the one up front And there is the, that's the front. It is very, a lot smoother up front. I will say that already. So now we're gonna get rid of this, this, and we're gonna do the rear. My leg is numb. Uh, and repeat. So I'm going to get these stock ones out of the way. Get my new ones down here, the screws. The gears themselves. You got your pinion. And then your ring. This is much heavier. Built better. You can just tell by looking at it. Uh, I had people that wanted me to take some pictures of stock compared to, uh, uh, I'll hold this if you can take a picture of those. My fiance is taking a picture of these and then she's going to mail them to me. See? <laughs> Flip them over. Flip them both over. There's a little bit of latex and grease on that one. Okay. And then also get the pinions. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the stock pinion next to it, damn it. <clears throat> This is the, uh, sorry, I completely pointed the camera the wrong direction. This is the rear co uh, comparing to the f uh, front, but either way, it's still the same. And you can actually see where it was machined. I can actually show something to prove that these are machined. If you look at this little ring right here where they cut these grooves in. 
in this ring right here there are some little notches machine machine marks so these are machined and they're hollow so I don't know if that's a good thing I don't know if that's a bad thing we will find out so let's take off the back cover I didn't tighten down, tighten them down correctly last time. Okay, so now we need to remove the. That's removed. There's that. And I definitely need some paper towels because this is the rear, and the rear has a lot of dirt and grass that's been thrown up on it. I need to wipe my hands so I don't get any contamination. I don't want to get any debris in the new parts. Okay, so here we go again. Take this out. It's a lot easier with this because you don't have the springs in the way. Uh, let's go ahead and just set this to the side. Compare again. You can definitely see these are cast. These are machined. Put it in. Okay, that's in there. It actually fits more snug. Okay, uh, now got to take the old. <laughs> Off with the old, in with the new. Okay, that's all that. I need this. This will actually work as sort of a stand. So you can take off the ring. And I'm definitely going to have to clean this one up some. But now we are just doing the same thing we did with the front. And as you see, a lot of people said, don't fill them up all the way. Fill them up all the way. Because, like you see, as you work it in, all the, what looks to be full actually is not full. So we need to keep that screw. I run boots, that's why I have so much grease on uh, my out drives. I made some boots out of uh, made some boots out of some uh, balloons, and just like the last one, take the. Uh, spider out then put that back on there and 
and it's, you need to push it down in place to make sure that seal seals because oh crap I got some marine grease where the definitely don't want marine grease in there where the okay uh, and just like the uh, well, let's go ahead and put this back together clean this up put that back on take our little screw Put that back on here, put it in place, tighten your out drive. But I can definitely tell these are machined compared to cast. Shit. Well, yeah, that definitely ain't gonna work without a damn bearing. Getting ahead of myself. Put that bearing back on. Put you back in place. Screw it back together. Use the needle, uh, Needle nose pliers to sort of lock the uh, out drive and tighten that screw. Not tight, tight, but just tight enough that it won't come loose. And spin it, make sure everything's good. Now we're going to take this. Because when you spin it, you see a lot of the... A lot of the diff grease seems to just disappear. So... Fill it back up some. My light went out on my phone because battery is uh, getting a little low, so I better hurry. 